In 1991, Ernie Irvin shocked the NASCAR world by passing Dale Earnhardt with six laps to go to win his first Daytona 500. This was only his and the team's second career win, and it set off a chain of super speedway dominance, as a single car operation won nine super speedway races over the next six years. This included Sterling Martin getting his first career win in the 1994 Daytona 500, beating the forward driver the number four, Ernie Irvin. In 1995, with a bad fast car, Marlon took his second Daytona 500 in a row, holding off Dale Earnhardt, who had fresher tires. Only four drivers have won back-to-back -back Daytona 500s, and only five teams have won three in five-year span. In all, Morgan McClure Motorsports only won 14 races, but they made sure to win them on the biggest stage, making this the most unlikely team stretch of dominance in Daytona 500 history.